Hello, so I want to share with you my secret on how to fall asleep fast. One of them is on the table now. And I also have something else to recommend for after you have something very sugary. Uh, you treat it yourself. Now you need to try to help yourself balance uh, all that sugar out of your system. I'm not a doctor or a nurse. These are just things that work for me. Okay, so um, it's early in the morning. I noticed that my refill bottle here is empty. So what do I use this bottle for? I'm reusing something that I had used. I had made a purchase and I save a lot of these bottles, right? Because glass is healthy, right? So now what I do is I figure, you know what? It's morning. Every so often I do something. <coughs> I decided to make my chamomile and linden flower tea. As you can see, I use it quite well. Why? Because it works. Sometimes I start to watch a movie and um, I can't fall asleep anymore for the night. So what do I do? I uh, reach out my little bottle in, in the fridge where I have pre-made chamomile and linden flower uh, tea in Spanish is called tilo as you can see and chamomile is manzanilla it's like apple kind of thing right all right so uh, it's good to have this handy because let's say it's the middle of the night you, you you're tossing a turn you've already killed a lot of time right you don't want to get up and start boiling some tea but if you have some in the fridge it helps. And some people suffering from sleep apnea, um, uh, and let's say they've already addressed that with a good, comfortable silicone uh, uh, CPAP um, cap, uh, now they could sleep, but they still are lacking years of lost sleep, and not to say lacking their proper eight hours still, okay? Because they're so used to not sleeping well. So I'm trying to help a friend and I told him to do this. So I figured I put it on film. I'm not showing you the label because this is not about the label. It's about a bottle. You can use a bottle that's much bigger. I reuse my kombucha bottles, right? A lot bigger, 16 ounces, right? So I think I'm actually going to make sure I have 16 ounces instead of this little one because this goes pretty fast, all right? And frankly, all I take of this is like two, two shot glasses and it works. Two shot glasses only uh, work quite well. Let me show you. Because you don't want to be getting up in the middle of the night to go to the bathroom after you fell asleep. So to, to me, this is what works for me. I'm not a doctor or a nurse. Two shot glasses of this tea. Okay. So uh, frankly, this, this uh, allows you, affords you a lot more. But you should make it strong enough because if you make it, sometimes I re reuse the leaves and so the water doesn't have much tincture, which means it's pretty low on the actual ingredient. So make it dark because if it's dark enough, then two shots is going to be more than enough. Maybe even one shot would be more than enough if it's dark. So you may want to make it a heavy drink so that way you don't have to consume so much water in the middle of the night. You could cut it down to even one shot if you make it um, uh, dark. And so there are some funnels that come with a, with a uh, whatever you call a strainer. In it, so I'm going to strain this now for you, but I'll be right back. Okay, so now that it has been strained, you see the color in it? It's pretty dark. You could probably sleep on one shot a night. It's dark enough that you probably could take one to one and a half shots and be done for the night. And this will say this will last you, you know, for, for, for a week. Um, and if you I don't have a problem with sleeping, so to me, it lasts me a couple of weeks because it's something I use maybe once a week, you know. Um, I don't have a problem going to sleep, but sometimes I'm curious. My brain starts storming, and that's when I get myself in trouble, and it's nice and warm. So I'm going to sit out, and then I'm going to put it in the fridge as my sleeping aid. Next. Okay, so let's say you feel guilty because you had a lot of ice cream or a lot of dessert. Right, so I buy this in Spanish grocery stores. The different different brands here, okay. Uh, one is this one, 
uh, Hannon. And the other one is uh, Nuestra Salud. Okay. Uh, some are more expensive than others. All right. Let me get out some more. While I'm at it, I might as well show you some other ones. Very good for the bronchioles. Let me just move this back a little bit. Come on, come on, come on. Come on. There we go. <laughs> this is very good for the bronchioles. Uh, I had, a few years ago, I caught a whooping cough that would not go away for years. And this is what helped. And I shared it with somebody. Uh, and it helped him tremendously. I would make him that tea every morning. Uh, sometimes I've, I've done caregiving. And when I refer to helping people, that's really what I'm saying. So this is another brand. And this is... You could see the, the key words, right? They're Latin words, but you can figure it out for gas and ulcers, right? Gastric cleanser, okay? And they're not really expensive. They're getting more expensive, by the way. These are old herbs, by the way. I, I, I've been stocking. They don't go bad. They're dry herbs, you know. I mean, used to be three forty nine, dollars for instance, right? But that price has doubled by now in 2023. This is good for the pulmonary, right? Pulmon. Okay. And uh, for coughing, I used, and I also used to share this with someone, eucalyptus. And this is another brand, Renzo. Okay. You find these in Spanish grocery stores uh, or stores that have a Spanish population. They're now starting to use these brands as well. My local shop right is now selling these things. And anti-parasites. I mean, all these little things, parasites are what really... And to, to be honest with you, they're just saying right now in 2003 of August uh, that uh, cancer are parasites. So when they're talking about tumors, those tumors that are growing are actually parasites. Now, remember, I'm not a doctor or nurse. I'm just sharing with you some things that have worked for me. And apparently I don't I don't use these very often. I don't have uh, problems. But if and when I do, it's good to have a cupboard full of these rather than over-the-counter medication because this is natural. It's as natural as can get. And so, um, you may want to look up the properties of um, lemongrass, which is really good for a Thai dish, by the way. But uh, lemongrass is also good for you. It's got a lot of good properties. So I mix it with, this is called adelgazante, which is for weight loss. So why is it used? Because it's bitter tea. The more bitter the more better, okay? The more bitter the tea, the more better. So you could have lemon, right? You could have lemon, uh, put some lemon in your, in your tea or, or just have plain lemon water, right? No sugar. Uh, before eating something, it'll help you digest. And uh, that's why it said that you should not drink uh, any liquids while you're eating because it stops the gastrics, you know, the acids from helping you um, digest. Uh, Look that up. Don't take my word for it. I'm not a doctor or a nurse. And I'm also imperfect, right? My memory doesn't serve me a thousand percent well, but I do know what to use, right? So all of these are two different brands. And so I figure I buy both. Uh, I think this one is more bitter than this one is. And I add uh, lemongrass to it. So I decided to start using this again. And I've been holding on to this for a while. So I'm going to get uh, fresh ones uh, next time. Even though they, they're dry, they don't go bad. But I noticed that the taste is not as strongly, as strong. It's not as bitter as it should be uh, to help with a, um, you know, taking down the sugar, right? To me, it works. It takes down the sugar. I have a cup of coffee, uh, without sugar or maybe hot chocolate that doesn't have sugar that, you know, cause I make my own chocolate. So I put my own flavors and sugar in it, but let me show you another trick. I'll be right back. Okay. So I spoke too soon. I'm not sure where I put my, I think it was called pin needle tea. It's you buy this tea in a Chinese, um, neighborhood in one of the Chinese tea stores and you just tell them give me the most bitter tea you have now you got to be careful with caffeine I'm one that cannot handle it very well uh it gives it gives me an anxiety and hypertension almost immediately uh if not within a day or two and then it's hard for me to figure out why I'm nervous right um so be careful if you have issues with 
caffeine and taking tea. I was a big time tea drinker, but I used to have to walk miles and miles to <laughs> walk away the anxiety, which I didn't know was caused by the tea itself. I thought it was natural. Uh, so, um, I, I'm not sure exactly where I put that tea. Uh, it's in my storage. Uh, but go, if you ever pass by one of these China, China districts, um, like Chinatown in New York, uh, or in Philadelphia, uh, one of these tea shops, uh, do look around and check out their teas, especially the bitter ones. They're a little more expensive, but they're so bitter that you could hardly gulp it down. But if you had some fun with some ice cream, then you need to heal yourself from the damages. And I, I do believe it contributes to healing. I'm not a doctor or nurse. Thank you so much for watching and have yourself a great day. Bye now.